Criticate! All Welcome right. back, you pieces of shit. We're <laughs> choosing Craig, baby. Yeah! I loved mm. Craig. I liked him. I wanted to get to know him better. I mean, we already knew him, but... Yeah. Uh, you know how it is. Look at that. Look at that cute little baby, too. He's always yeah, got his little baby. Yeah, he's always got his little baby. Yeah, it's cute. going to make sex really weird. Well, yeah, I'm assuming you'll take the baby off. Yeah, me too. I hope so. God, I hope Next. so. Matt and Hugo <laughs> seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Uh, Hugo's which one? Hugo is the teacher. The teacher. Okay. So. We're, I'm going to change his voice. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. <laughs> Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And to try and take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. What Dude. is this, Criticast? Dude, I literally, <laughs> fuck, I literally just asked you if you wanted a hamburger. <laughs> Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Talk, Talk to, to Craig. Craig, yeah. He's already alone. I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more attentive to my existence. How'd resistance training go the other day? Oh. Well, I was running with my kid, and I just shook it, like a lot, because I was running. And he, now he's just dead. He's just <laughs> dead. I don't know what to do. Just kidding. <laughs> Little River here is a great cheerleader. Architani, bro. Craig grabs River's arms and waves them around. I'm going to give him okay. a different voice, because that's going to get really annoying. Yeah, yeah. Romancing him. Yeah. You can do it, Dad. Oh, wait, no, he's doing No, he's doing his, his baby. You can do it, Dad. <laughs> Sorry for pooping on you. She must be a handful at that age. Mm -hmm. Oh, they always are. Bro. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves them around. Oh. I'm sorry for throwing up in you, Dad. <laughs> uh, uh, <is> it, am <laughs> I, <the> <laughs> I kind of hope that he does the rest of the conversation <laughs> as the baby. <laughs> How you settling it? Uh, almost done. The new place is perfect. I never get too comfortable. Almost done. Almost done? Yeah. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled, but I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. Hmm. We did livable throughout the entirety of college. Yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing as a plate cleanser, palate cleanser between different types of pizza. She still does, though. Hey, she takes after her dad. Keith, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Oh. Uh, what was his he voice? Was, uh, <laughs> he was Irish. Oh, yeah. Um. But then you, like, coughed, and then you, <laughs> and then you just gave him a really right. boring voice. Uh, 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 your choice. Do you want to make him Irish, or do you want to make him boring? I'll make him Irish. Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to oh. us. What is it, sweetheart? Uh, <laughs> I'll you take her. Into yeah. A <laughs> um, uh, it's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Hey. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Hey. Am I cool now? The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, nope. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, Keith. This is my daughter. Hello. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh gee. I'm Carmen Sita. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda comes over with Daisy in tow. Amanda. Dad, look, <laughs> I'm making new friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your teacher? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't, I didn't realize we were your neighbors. Oh. Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Ugh. Ah, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Amanda finger guns her way out of the conversation like a champ. 
She learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very proud. Oh. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Whoa. Hugo looks around the party. He must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Huh? Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega, are you smoking? Ah. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Fuck. <laughs> nope. Is that, is that just going to be his voice? Yeah. <laughs> just your voice? All right. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of a cigarette and then flicks it into the gutter. Hmm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hugo marches over to Ernest, and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Hey. Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. Hmm. And the barbecue we had before that? He actually burned down half the yard. Shit. <laughs> and then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard, too. I don't know. Hugo walks back over to us, practically oh, dragging what a Ernest piece behind. Of shit. Hmm. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. Keith is my son, Ernest. You want to reinvent his voice based on his appearance? What? Are you going to reinvent his voice? Yeah, 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 I will. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hand shoved deep in his pockets. <laughs> Oh, it's not saying anything. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. Oh, I like it. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Fair. Does it matter? <laughs> fourth grade. Ernest! Okay, okay. I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. <laughs> they fucking hate him. <laughs> Such a fuck. Uh, one. yeah. Good for you. Hmm. Can I... Go now. I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. God fucking, I hate you. <laughs> Ouch. Eh. Ernest! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was, that was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Oh. I'm so sorry. He's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, and I am super cool, I have to be the authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. Oh. I mean, I think his dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Hmm. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? Oh, he has the flower crown on now. He does. I didn't even notice. It's that's cute. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm cool as a cucumber. Hey. See, that's right there. You can't say that. I don't know. My kids think I'm cool. It's because you're fucking rad, Craig. <laughs> but for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dads? Once my six-pack fades, I'm, I'm dead inside. <laughs> uh, I, j I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. But look at the way you're dressed. <laughs> we can't keep up. How could I not be? <laughs> I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda, I'm cool, right? Careful, the audio. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Amanda just laughs. <laughs> she keeps laughing. Okay, I see your point. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking life of it. Oh, shit. As much as we all want it, I don't think it's as important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. Man, oh. Hugo, if you weren't a dad, I'd suspect you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Actually, Ernest was a scientific experiment to see if anyone <laughs> could re reproduce asexually. <laughs> yeah, you're right, but it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these, guys <laughs> both ways. <laughs> Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. <laughs> it's called when that happens. In the background. <laughs> she's still, <laughs> she's still <laughs> laughing. Yeah. She just like moved to the garage. <laughs> oh. Don't let us eat up your time, Keith. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. Oh, oh we can. Damien. Uh, we're, we're, okay. 
Mm. We're, we're, we're just over. And, like, probably not even at 10 minutes, really. So, uh, do you want to start, Damien, and then we can stop midway? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Gath and Beyond by the grill. Oh, God. I, I wonder what they're talking about. Do. This is, might be fucking killer <laughs> no. for my voice. No! I walk over to them. Mm. Oh. So I'm curious. <laughs> can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? <laughs> Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood. And it complements the crimson interior perfect. Jacob, play three seconds of I Want to Paint It Black. Yeah. What the fuck is that? You haven't heard that? Oh, I'm going to show that to you. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting choice. Oh. Wait, that's his You're... voice? Yeah, I guess. Holy shit, it's so late. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. Oh. Keith! I was just having a conversation here with Damien about his aesthetic design choice d d decisions. <laughs> Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. Criticade. Hey. Criticade. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> what's the next episode of Criticade? Yeah. Or Please just do. subscribe. Or catch any or subscribe. Or check out any of the rest of our series. Yeah. Uh, I highly recommend our, Son our, our Sonic Adventure 2 series, or Spider-Man 2, Okay. Uh, Alice in Wonderland. All right. Check you, them out. You've done the hard sell. Next time, guys. <laughs> I'll give you an even harder sell if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs>